To an insider like myself, who's been on the inside for two and a half decades fighting the drug war, I know that it's a company line meant to prod Congress into spending more billions on giant drug war bureaucracies who really don't want to win, because if they win, they're out of business. So, I mean, use your heads. Uh, I've been there, and I'm going to tell you, that's the truth. But yet the media dutifully prints the stuff in spite of it being the same stuff for now over a hundred years. They keep repeating it, the company line, predictably. And near election time, I predict, and you can write this down, near election time, we will be winning the drug war. I promise you, every election time, we win the drug war. It's there with close statistics. Tell us, drug czars retire in victory. Get ready to retire from the, the partnership, because you'll be winning. Uh, you know, on and on. Yet you guys, you poor people. Yeah, me too. God, I mean, I hate to admit it, but I'm with you in this thing. I'm, I, I'm paying taxes, and, uh, uh, you know, we spent $100 billion in the last six years. You know, I, again, I'm still looking for the one guy that was cured by this drug war. Now, these hundreds of billions of dollars are not a single person, and we still pay incredible, well, not to me. Uh, you know, because, again, as an insider, I've watched government bureaucracies use reporters like condoms for two and a half decades. Many government agencies like CIA, IRS, DEA, Justice Department, Congress, just to name a few. I was a member of the Republican inner circle. Howard Baker sent me a letter and said, send me my contribution and you'll come to Washington. Here I am with all these senators and all these big people, and not one of them ever questioned me or even said to me, what is it you do down in Miami? Come on, they welcomed me in there because I made a big contribution to the Republican Party. You're in the inner circle. And I said to myself, you know, I did this, you know, all with drugs, and I did it with nothing else, you know? Cocaine trafficking and the money, the money, almost ruined any morality in this community. Millions of dollars in cash supports a network of drug banks. Have you ever seen a city with so many banks? You're going to tell me there's that kind of industry and business in this city? Please. Come on. What makes law officials suspicious is that last year, South Florida banks took in $6 billion in extra cash from depositors. Bank presidents were in rooms for days counting currency. Is Landmark a cocaine bank? It is not, definitely not. Banks invested in huge cash counting machines. Lacking storage space, the banks turned it over to the Federal Reserve. Authorities say a bank this size normally deposits about $12 million a year in cash with the Federal Reserve. Last year, Continental National deposited $600 million in cash.